that weird to say Whitney's is my idol, but I like playing football? Someone's face, that's weird. You signed someone's face? No, I didn't face. do it. No, yeah. shorty. <laughs> so I was a bit, like, sceptical to, like, open the door. Sceptical? So, <laughs> is that the right word? <laughs> Good at that, I yeah. think. If I lose the ball, I know for example, Cash is not going to go, Oh, God's sake, Barks, what was that? She's going to turn around and say, Right, come on, Barks, next one, let's go. I think, yeah, I think from, from a, an individual point of view, making sure that the next thing that I do is right, and from my teammates' point of view, to help me be positive. Build that be, back up, yeah. yeah. What are you saying? That's got to be you. You're more famous than me. <laughs> <laughs> um, once I went um, about an hour away from my house just to watch my friend's football game, and I was sitting in the car after, just texting my mum saying because it's quite late, like I'm leaving now to come home, so she wasn't worrying. And then like these group of boys knocked on my car window, so I was a bit like sceptical to like open the door. So, sceptical. <laughs> is that the right word? <laughs> so <laughs> I opened the door and I was like, oh, like you're right. And they were like. Oh, are you Carla Humphrey? And I was like, yeah. Then they're like, do you play for Arsenal? <laughs> this is like a while ago. And I was like, yeah. And then they're like, oh, can we have a picture? Like, I was like, kind of on the verge of scared for my life. <laughs> they just wanted a picture. <laughs> so Yeah, I was quite flattered. Mm. I haven't been recognised, I think, ever. Only yeah, unless, like, at home. What's the strange thing you've had to say? Someone's face, that was weird. Did you you signed someone's face? No, I didn't face. do it. They had shorty. <laughs> No, you don't really normally get weird things to sign yet. No, just t shirts and stuff. T shirts, the standard. <laughs> What's your best ever goal? What is my best ever goal? Is that as well? Two part. Okay. You've got Scot Scottish, isn't you? My nan is Scottish, yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, my dad would absolutely <laughs> kill me if I turned around and said, yeah. Um, I'm very much. This is just my individual point of view. I'm very much a person where I'm, I'm born in England, so I'm English regardless of what. If Scotland called me up, I would just go there because I can't get to England, if you know what I mean. So that would probably be a no. And the best goal I've scored um, it would probably be against Arsenal in the quarter final of the FA Cup. I scored in front of about 3,000 people at, at Central Bank. That was when I was young. Um, and Kelly Smith gave me player of the match, which is an honour. Um, so that's probably my best goal, yeah. We've had a little debate about this. We, we pre looked at the questions earlier <laughs> to, to have a, a little chat about it, didn't yeah. we? Do we agree that to score a hat trick in a dog final, Carly Lloyd, that's got to be uh, your main goal. And, like, little girls dream of that. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, you, I'm sure you dreamt of fairies. <laughs> and getting married, you definitely didn't dream of that. <laughs> There's two sides of me. Incredible, really, because I'd always grown up about like, watching players like Kelly Smith and stuff, and like her, she was my idol. Like, tried to base my game around her when I was younger. So to be able to play with them and train with them every day was. <laughs> no way, no. I'm not having that. She's an absolute teddy bear, isn't yeah, she? Yeah. You know her better than all of us. Yeah. On the pitch, though, she's, she's tough, but yeah. no, she's lovely on the pitch. Yeah. Big teddy bear. Yeah, so lovely. I think you wouldn't expect it if you saw her in the change room. Yeah, you expect to be a massive character, but she's quite, she's timid, isn't she? Yeah, she's quite quiet. She, yeah, she gets you have to, pitch. yeah. yeah. Yeah, we had yeah said the World Cup that really put women's football on the map, I think. And what the England girls have done is, is just brilliant for all of us, really. So, yeah, the World Cup. El Clasico, I'm going to go for. El Clasico? Yeah. Yeah, if, if Messi and Ronaldo are playing, you can't not. Can you? Yeah. 
I said at the World Cup, I'd love to, if England were at the World Cup final, I'd want two tickets to that, I think. That would probably be the best sporting event in the world, I reckon, to me. Do you want to tell them what you said before you realised it was sporting event? Right, I didn't read the question <laughs> properly, and I said, it said sporting event, and I missed that bit out, and I decided I just wanted to go to a Whitney Houston or Michael Jackson concert, all right? <laughs> <laughs> and they said I couldn't do that, and I thought that was something that I'd want to do. Just no, they can't do that because they're not alive. Yeah, but I would want to do that. Whitney Houston's like my idol. Is that weird? Say Whitney Houston's my idol, but I like playing football. You should hear me in the shower. Singing is woeful. <laughs>
Well, I don't know. She's never. I think she just. Did she say Tony and Guy? Tony and Guy. Yeah. Becky probably yeah. cuts it for her. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. We don't know. Could be any somewhere Tony random. Guy, I'm knowing sure her, I heard yeah. That. brother as well. I think that's quite a common theme, isn't it? Yeah. I always hit that, but yeah, I used to go and watch him every weekend without fail. <laughs> Run the ball up and down the touchline. <laughs> uh, Man will be my dad. He is an ex-pro and I used to go to all his games and stuff like that. He was half decent. Hopefully he won't watch it. I mentioned he's quite good. Uh, yeah, but my, my dad. Yeah, I just think um, we want to prove the point that we do deserve to be in the top flight. Um, I think we've got a lot of things sorted behind the scenes, which means we can do that better now as well. Yeah, um, yeah just proving a point to everyone that we do deserve to be there and we can compete at that level. I, mean, I think it'd be, I think it'd be definitely like, pro like progress in the game. I think. When pe people don't know about like the women's football being a summer league, so when you say it, they're like, oh, like, it's not in line with the men's, and I just think maybe it would seem more professional to the outside world a bit. Yeah, we'd have to compete, obviously, with the men's more so. Yeah, less coverage um, maybe, though. That's yeah, and then you've got you've got families that probably might not want to come out in the freezing cold. True. Because we have a lot of families come, don't we? It's very yeah. family yeah. internationals there. So if yeah. we're in season playing internationals, um, senior team. Pros and cons, I think, to both, isn't it? Well, what would you say about the from the Premier League to the Super League to? Oh yeah, so to, for teams to jump from like the Premier League to Super League, they miss a big chunk of time. Um, so I suppose for if they're trying to bring teams through the leagues, it'd be easier if it's in a winter league. Yeah, maybe more smooth transition. That I suppose. I don't know. But we do like training on days like this. Yeah, you can't yeah. argue with sunshine, <laughs> can you? No. <laughs> so, yeah. I think I need that time. Ha <laughs> ha.